Ahmed Zawail is a Nobel laureate. He's been a leader of the opposition who's been negotiating with the military on reforms. I spoke to him just a while ago, and he said now that Parliament has been dissolved. He believes it's possible elections could be held even before September, which had been the previous goal. The fact of the matter is that the people here would like to have this done as soon as possible. So your hope is that you can have elections before August? Is that what I understand you're saying? That's, that, that's, that's what my hope is, uh, is that we don't have to wait uh, that long. Uh, there will be a transi transition government, uh, a transition government, uh, but also you will now, the fact that the parliament has been uh, let go, the key thing is now uh, for the Egyptian people to get this referendum done, and then we go on with the election, which I anticipate it should be before or about the summer. All right, and let me ask you, sir, uh, there have been some reports that you might run for some office. Uh, are you contemplating running for any leadership position? Well, I, as I said, Bob, to uh, the whole many of the people in the international media, my role right now is to make sure that Egypt will become a democratic state. That's really what I'm after. And then I think after that, it's truly up to the Egyptian people to decide on their leader. But what I'm here for is to see in my lifetime Egypt becoming a democracy. Do you think uh, that uh, the government uh, should find ways to uh, freeze Mubarak's assets that he seems to have in, uh, in, in other countries? Uh, uh, what do you see uh, coming of, of those efforts? The corruption has become a way of life and a very small number of people in the country have made billions and billions of dollars in such a short time. Um, and I think there will be justice here made for the uh, Egyptian people to have their own wealth back. And I don't mean here to be personal on President uh, Mubarak or his family. I think all those who have abused the system there will be a time where justice will uh, take place. Let me also ask you about the emergency laws that uh, Egypt is operating under now and has been for three decades. Is it time for those emergency laws to be lifted? In my opinion, it should be yesterday. Uh, I think there is no reason whatsoever, Bob, uh, that Egypt uh, lives for 30 years under martial law, but I would like to urge them to do it as soon as possible because psychologically even to the Egyptian people, this is very important to be done as soon as possible. Dr. Zawail, thank you so much. We appreciate you being with us this morning. Well, thank you, Bob. Thank you.